what is going on guys Carlos here from everything tech and in this video we're bypassing the security on the Galaxy A5 2016 which is the A5 10F so A5510F uh, so the first thing I'm going to show you is that it is indeed locked with uh, with a password or with the Google account password and uh, I, it's, this is my phone, obviously, and I'm just trying to bypass it by. Uh, it's, it's actually my spare phone because it's got a broken screen and I'm not using it anymore. But uh, I've locked myself in with my password, and now I'm trying to get out of it without putting the password in. So I'm connected to Wi Fi, as you can see. Go to the terms and conditions, go forward, and uh, after a few brief moments, uh, I'm a little bit far from my router that's why it's uh, taking a little bit longer to check the network but you'll be able to see that uh, next uh, phase will be to put the last Google account that was in this phone which is my own so uh, we're gonna try and get it get out of it without uh, without having to put the Google account and this is like a big security breach that um, that uh, happens when you know there's bugs in the system that can be uh, used in order to access the system bypass the securities of the system uh, this I think has been fixed in the latest firmware but uh, at, at the present moment uh, this is firmware 7 which is uh, the latest but uh, there's a beta one out and uh, on that one I think all the bugs are fixed so people will find another way to bypass it but uh, for now it can't be bypassed yet so here we go so we check in info now and verify uh, your account so I'm, I can't go any further without putting the account in so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna put it in download mode so you have to hold down volume down power button and the home button all at the same time until the screen goes dark and then it will come up download mode So once download mode appears, you click on volume up to get onto uh, download mode. As you can see, FRP is locked. FRP lock is on. Uh, and uh, this is what we're going to do. All the links are in the description. Just plug your phone onto your computer. It's got to be running Windows. I have got a Mac, but it is running Windows. Uh, so if you've got a Mac and you've got Bootcamp and you're running Windows, you can do this on a Mac as well. Uh, so plug it onto your computer and uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open Odin and I think my version is 1.13 1.13 but I think there's a few versions after this 1.13.1 or 1.13.2 something like that um, I don't you can't view the phone at the same time as you view the screen because I filmed it in one shot but I'm zooming on the screen so you can see exactly what I'm doing and what I'm loading. So the first thing we're going to do is click on PDA or AP, depends on what version of Odin you're running, and then load the um, combination firmware. It'll take a little bit of time to load depending on whether you've got a normal um, drive or if you've got an SSD, it will load a lot quicker. I've got an SSD so it shouldn't take too long to load the firmware onto Odin. Once the firmware is loaded, uh, if you get a message just like that, uh, what we need to do is we need to go into the folder and where the com combination firmware, where you save the combination firmware, and then click on top of it and adjust the title. So instead of saying MD5, um, delete the MD5 and it will have to be .tar. Uh, because this is a changed firmware in order for Odin to load it you you need to do it like that and once you load it in the second time as dot i it will load instantly so start doing your um uh, your flashing your firmware onto the phone and uh, now as you can see the phone is updating at the same time as the computer uh, i sped up this video so i want i sped up this part of the video so i won't make the video too long uh, but you can see that they're both exactly in sync they're doing the exact same thing so once it gets to the end the phone will reboot and we're gonna go into this special um, mode uh, that that comes with this firmware it's like um, uh, engineers mode sort of thing that can get you into the phone itself enable a few things on the phone like um, uh, debugging 
and put the phone in IDB mode. So let it load this factory binary, that's what comes up on your screen. I'll pick up the phone now so you guys can have a look exactly what we need to do and where we need to press in order to activate these functions. Because we're going to do it all in here, we're going to, um, do, without loading another firmware or downgrading to 6.0.1, we're going to do it all on the phone itself uh, with the help of the computer and another program called uh, FRP Helper. So once it loads up, you'll see this screen right here. And you see the old type of menu that you see in the center. It's like a really old version of Android. So go to that, that menu, go to settings, and then go about phone. Then look for build number and click on it, I think three or four times until you, it says that you are a developer now and developer options is available. So make sure that uh, USB debugging is on went too far yeah USB debugging is on and now we're gonna enable ADB on the phone itself so go back to the initial screen and as you see there's a little Android with a calculator star hash 0808 hash and you, you you might be familiar with this one DM ACM and ADB so just click OK and now it's time to go back onto the computer and now we're going to use the FRP helper in order to bypass FRP and then we, all we need to do is install uh, Android 7 and that's it, the phone is done. Uh, you might need to reset it a couple of times but um, it, shouldn't, it shouldn't take too long. So in order to install this one, uh, you've downloaded the RAW, double click on the RAW, double click on the you can see like there's a folder inside of it and then there's there's a file a word file with password click on that double click on that one and copy the password out because you're going to need this password in order to complete the install of the program itself so once you did you do this then it's time to install the program so just, just double click on exe and click on yes here and then click next and it's going to ask you for the password just paste it in right click paste or control control V and then you can install the program fully create a, a desktop icon and this, this this should take seconds and then just open the program at the end once you do this um, we're gonna go over to ADB options which is on the top right hand side and then we're gonna do the FRP remove FRP wait for the the computer to respond to, con to connect to the phone it will say okay 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 three times saying that the job is done once it said it once it says it the, the third time then it's it's uh, it's completed so you can close this program now your FRP has been removed already but obviously because you've got the binary firmware you won't be able to boot so we're gonna go and put the phone in download mode again so you know how it's done first turn it off uh, get the pop click the power button and turn it off and uh, now it's time to put it in download mode which is volume down power button at the same time or home button all three buttons at the same time so once you do that you'll go into download mode and got a warning volume up again and we get into download mode Note that it says it on the phone still, FRP lock is still on, but it's okay, don't worry. It says it says it like that, don't worry, it will be fine. It will be without FRP once we start updating it. So now it's time to launch Odin again. And then we're going to go and pick up the one of the downloads that I've got below this video, which is firmware, um, firmware uh, oh, Android Firmware 7. So the Android firmware 7 is uh, on this, I've got it on this folder. You probably got it on a RAW, you need to unraw all these programs like the, the combination firmware if it's raw and the Android uh, firmware 7, Android, um, yeah, firmware 7, update 7. So once it's uh, loaded up onto the IP or PDI, depending on what version of, uh, of Odin you have, uh, it's time to uh, start flashing it really it doesn't take too long it takes a little bit but not too long because this is the full firmware the the what the binary firmware or the binary um, uh, install that we've done earlier is not uh, it's not a full firmware it's only a, it's only a basic set firmware but it enables us to start some surfaces up 
unblock some stuff and uh, remove the FRP that way. So start uh, doing your updates. I've sped up this part of the video as well because I, I don't want you to be bored with uh, so much uh, so much install. It just takes takes a few minutes. So uh, I've sped up uh, most mostly mostly the parts where it's updated and it's taking a very long time. I'm trying to keep this video under 10 minutes, but it's already past that. So um, so I failed to be honest. <laughs> But I did try to, to cut it down as much as I could, but there, there's only so much you can cut down without uh, without losing crucial parts that are needed. So once that's done, the phone will reboot again. I sped up this part again because it takes a very long time as well. But the phone will go through its prompt. And uh, when it gets to the home screen, what it does is... Um, it's, it's bypass everything really it, it just uh, it's like it's not there in you can't even choose language or anything like that so if you if you've installed my firmware and your phone is not a UK phone you might get this in your language this this uh, menus in your language the, the initial ones but you can change that obviously you can go and uh, select a different language but this as you can see mine is in a different language um, so you can just skip all these parts in here just ignore exactly like you would do on another phone if you don't understand this uh, you can just uh, put the phone in uh, in recovery mode and delete everything and you will be fine as well so as you can see now we've got access to the phone it will be a little bit slow to begin with because uh, it's, it's installing things still and Android phones uh, when they're installing the initial stuff they're quite uh, they're quite slow so you just go to settings and as you can see everything is there you got access to everything there's no uh, there's no accounts nothing is locked and you'll be able to restore the phone but let's change the language so we're gonna go to the language bit and download I'm in the United Kingdom English United Kingdom uh, and you can just delete the Italian language that is there if if this is the case you might uh, in yours it might stay in an English language too uh, and you won't need to do any of this so once you you do all of that we're gonna go and um, as you can see everything is in English now uh, we're gonna go and delete everything on a phone so let's go down to the bottom on about phone and then right down to the bottom this is all changed now on Android 7 Click on reset and factory data reset and let's reset this bad boy and like that it will start from the beginning you can choose the language from the beginning uh, as an as English United Kingdom my one comes up as Italian still it might be due to the firmware but this is the only firmware I could find that I could do this with because it was failing on every other firmware I sped up this part of the video as well so so you can see uh, that he is actually doing it but it's not taking as long as um, as it should this video took me hours to film uh, the beginning uh, at the beginning I ran out of battery on my camera I ran out of battery on a MacBook it's just everything was going wrong but after charging everything I managed to uh, acquire all the tools that I needed and all the firmwares in order to have them in the description below upload them to the different places and uh, so you guys can have access to it without searching everywhere because you know downloading this firmware is is takes a very long time so as you can see we are in the setup menu everything is in english now everything is unblocked you can see accessibility is unlocked already uh, and we can carry on uh, to the next section we don't need to select a network anymore we're not locked by frp so we can just go ahead i didn't select a network i didn't connect to my network i can just go ahead and um, and bypass everything and go directly to to the home screen and if I want to add my account I could add my account everything is completely unlocked uh, so if you've got any questions or if you're in trouble installing anything just leave me a comment down below and I'll try to help you as much as I can so I guess this is it for this video guys thank you very much for watching if you did like this video or if this video helped you please give us a like and please consider subscribing so i can continue releasing more content like this i've got a series of videos on frp s7 edge s7 s8 all of them with android 8 and everything oreo uh, so 
uh, keep, be on a lookout because I'm releasing a series of videos on FRP on different phones. So thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.